Joe M. from Normal, Illinois. This problem gives us triangle RST, saying that it's circumscribed about the circle O, where we have points of tangency that are W and U and V as shown in the triangle. In between each of the sides, RT, RS, and ST. We were also given some information about some of the sides of this triangle, that the length from R to U was six, that the distance from S to V was two, and that the distance from S to T in total was 10. They ask us to find the perimeter of this triangle. So we'll start out by making an important note that any time we have tangent line segments that come from a common external point, that those line segments are congruent. So for example, we were told that the distance from R to U was equal to six. So we also know that the distance from the point R to the point W must also be equal to six. We were told that the distance from S to V was equal to two. And so again, the tangent line that also starts at S and goes to U must also be two. Finally, we were told that the distance from S to T was 10. And since the distance from S to V was two, that leaves us with 10 minus two or eight to be the distance from T to V. And one more time, again, we know that the tangent line that starts from T and goes to W then must also be eight. Now we're ready to write down what the lengths of each side of this triangle are. The length of RS is going to be equal to the sum of the two pieces, which is six plus two for a total of eight. The distance from R to T is six plus the eight, which is 14. And we'd already been told that the distance of ST was equal to 10. That lets us easily find the perimeter of the triangle, which is found by just adding together the three sides that we have for a total perimeter of 32. That answers the first question in this problem. We're also asked to answer whether or not this triangle is a right triangle. And the Pythagorean theorem tells us that it can be a right triangle only if the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides is equal to the square of the longest side. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. In this problem, the two shorter sides are eight and 10. So we'll go ahead and put that to the test. If we have eight squared plus 10 squared, we're curious to know how that compares to the longest side squared of 14. Doing some simplifying, we get 64 plus 100 on the left side and 196 on the right hand side meaning that we have 164 on the left and 196 on the right and since those are clearly not equal to each other then we also know that this is not a right triangle thanks for watching this has been joe m from normal illinois